All right, we're What's here. Going? We're here. We're here at ADCC 2019. Uh, we got a very, very special guest today. One of the original members of the Gracie family. Uh, Half Gracie is here. Is in the house. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Thank you. No, no, Thank so you, man. Man, we're excited. You know, it's not often we get legends <coughs> like you. Um, this is a Grapple TV podcast, but it is also the launch of Twisted Ones from Jiu Jitsu Magazine. So right. we're kind of putting this together today to uh, show the show show what we're going to be having soon. Um, it's going to be kind of a, a it's going to show more of the business aspects of Jiu Jitsu. Show guys what it's like to own academies. Show guys what it's like to teach. How you make your living from Jiu Jitsu, like how if you have made your living from Jiu Jitsu. It's like your life from that's nothing. True. Yes. Right. Um, so just amazing from the start. I remember before I knew much, watching you guys in the Pride video with the with 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 High End and Hinzo, and you guys walking down the street, just looking like a pack of animals, just ready to eat. Man, that was what I wanted. I was like, I saw that. And it was like so. There was actually a pack of animals right there walking for sure. <laughs> so you know what? Which brings me to the the way the um the jujitsu community has evolved evolved depending on how you want to look at it how how do you think through your observations the mentality of a typical jiu-jitsu athlete has changed or has it changed over time definitely definitely changing over time right uh i think the globalization of the jiu-jitsu becomes like a less less of a teams more as a individual you know that's one aspect that i don't like it but at the same time was people become more friendly than than they used to be, you know, and, uh, but the team thing, that's one thing that I used to like a lot, you know, like it was like a, a bigger team, a bigger team, you know, like I was like more like a people were more honorable. I, I, that's what I, I, I think, you know. And do you, do you, do you think this, uh, this is a healthy growth? Do you think jujitsu is sound right now or how do you feel about the growth? No, no. That was expected to grow, you know. Like that, well, actually, when we started doing this uh, in the beginning, that was the purpose. The purpose to bring the jiu-jitsu all, all around the world, and, and we've done that. You know, like if you look jiu-jitsu right now, anywhere I can put my finger on the map, I can go work because I know it has a gym over there, mm. right? And uh, that was good, definitely was good, you know. But 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 sometimes I like the old I like the old days. I like I like. I like the old days. You know, they did more like a, like well, a What were the old days to you? It was family. It was it was what? It was the team. You say, but like, no, like, I, I, you're 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 saying the growth of 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 the team, and then now it's more about the individual. Like, tell us your like, you know, some of the pa the past, little bit of the feelings you have now. Yeah, and like just the what 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 I say like uh, the the growth is, 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 is has to grow. You know the the the, the, the the sport, the sport has to evolve, you know, and has this, the part of the, the not sports. Mm -hmm. That's the part of the self-defense. That's the part of the, the fighting aspect, uh, which jujitsu is not is not evolved for different way, different purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, I see the jujitsu nowadays not much for fighting, but just more for like uh, for points in the competition. Right. You know, and uh, I I do like the the jujitsu, the purpose of jujitsu for fighting. Right. You know, and that's kind of getting a little lost yeah. over time. You you do you think that? I mean, there's a lot of top athletes here now, right? Some of the best jujitsu practitioners in the world. How do you think they would do if they cross over to MMA, like percentage wise? You know, if they do cross to MMA and they they're on the in they. The athletes, mm -hmm. any athlete that they cross to MMA, they they will do good. Mm -hmm. But if you get a guy nowadays like uh, which is training everything at the same time, you do probably even better, mm -hmm. you know. And what's the the purpose was like a jujitsu guy by himself, he can be able to fight anyone. Yeah, when you, you know, when you not the, not the way around. Like you know, not, not not what I see today. When you started training jujitsu, um, how old were you? You know, I always train jiu-jitsu, you know? So from the... Yeah, since, since I remember like, myself, I would try to train jiu-jitsu. Yeah, it's almost like, hey, when did you learn how to walk? Yeah, it was right? great. Yeah, I, I, yes. None of us remember that. In, it, was, it was not like a, an academy jiu-jitsu, in the house jiu-jitsu. I used to go and go home, my dad would teach us play around. It was not like a force jiu-jitsu, but it was a game. You know, we're playing, we're playing games. We, 
we like my dad always motivated us hey let's let, you, you guys fight you know like, we, we fight each other <laughs> with your you family know? your brothers yes we brought, yeah, it's like we, we don't back up to, you know, yeah. to each other so what was it like being in a house with uh, Heinz the baby yeah yes and Henzo is is older or younger he's than older he's, he's older, older. Yeah. so who won those fights in the house <laughs> See, Henzo was older no, yeah, right? yeah. Henzo was like yeah, older than us yeah yeah uh-huh. There was a, I, I'm older than Hein, but Hein always would hang out with me more than him. Right. Was a, the different age at mm-hmm. the time was was like four years older. Mm-hmm. There was a bigger bigger difference. Yeah. To to hang, be hanging out all the time, but we got on a point was like it was was, was hard. It was not it was not easy. You know, but like, we trained each other. We know we yeah. we have kind of Hens was more like a, my mom uh, separated from my dad. We were like around like eight years old or nine or something like this, and Hens was more like a, a father figure for us. You know, he always mm-hmm. taking care of us. You know, like uh, uh, we see him as like uh, a brother. We fight each other, mm-hmm. but I see I respect more respect. You know, hey, if he would have said something, I would have definitely I would put in the back of my ear yeah. and make sure you listen. You know, was was kind of like this. And Hyen was uh, the wild card. You know, it was <laughs> crazy. My you favorite know? fighter. Yes, <laughs> mine too. And uh, Hyen was like kind of. Uh, Always like me and him was always like no, don't get along too much, you know. But mm-hmm. we, we love each other very much. But like sometimes something happened. Like hey, I, I I'm the one going like collect. Hey man, what you why what you doing this? Why? Or you know, during your the team growth, like when the Gracie family became a team, mm-hmm. right? You you have more and more of the family growing. Who was your main uh, like opponent? Like like as a team. Like you guys are starting to like, and you guys wouldn't sit in the same room with them, you know. We, we don't have that, you know. No. So it wasn't shoot like when they used to sell us on Pride, shoot box oh, no. versus oh, the team, Gracies. Oh, team race. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, every, everybody. Everybody was enemies. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't give a shit to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't so, matter who it was at the time. We. Yeah. Yes. So you know, having having the name and the the profile of the Gracie family, of course, it's given it's an honor, right, to represent jujitsu. Mm-hmm. But with the added pressure of the name, did you feel the added pressure? And did it, did you ever feel at any time in your life it became a burden? Like, I, don't, I never asked for this. No. Not at all? No, not at all. And it was never a burden. The fighting was, it was, was in us. You know, we grew There was no pressure being a Gracie. Being, you know, actually it was the opposite. That would give us strength. You know, and uh, completely different than, oh, pressure. Oh, fuck that. No, no, no. The pressure was like, hey, I am this. And might as well dr- put a shirt on it, right? And that's that's pretty much it. You know, like fighting was. I, I grew up breathing fighting. You know, since I was, I really started training, training, training. Since I was like around 10 years old, nine, to 13 years old, then I started training every day, twice a day. But it's th- almost like eating a good meal. It's like you eat every day, right? That's, that's, it never gets yes, old. That's pretty much it. Never feel burdened by yes. it. It's like no, this is great. And it's great. We were treated a little bit different too. You know, like uh, the academy was the only place that we can go. If we're grounded, you know, as a school, go study, like learn how to read and those kind of stuff. But in the, the rest was like, you can go to academy if you want to. D- do you think that anybody saw this coming the way that it, because this was before UFC, this is before any of these things. Did, did was it like, we're, we're onto something like this is, we're going to create this or it just happened? See, like. We knew it was. Like, we knew it was the best martial arts in the world. Right. We knew jujitsu. Is, it is the best martial arts in the world until nowadays. Yeah. If you don't know jujitsu, you cannot fight in any any martial arts, any events. Right. A pure, pure, pure. Say, hey, I never see jujitsu in my life, yeah. and come and fight. He will lose. A blue belt should beat him. Yes. Yeah. That's my 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 criteria for a blue belt is that anybody that comes in without any grappling should lose to a blue belt. Yes. Right. Yes. Maybe why about three months they yeah. do, do, do that too. Right. Yeah. And that's, when, that's a fact. When did you have your first professional fight and how did you... My first professional fight, I would think it was like around 18 years old. Yeah. And then uh, how... I was in Sao Paulo. Was it a big crowd or... It was a good crowd. It was a good crowd, yeah. Do you remember? It took me about 40 seconds to finish the guy, yeah. <laughs> who, who did you yeah. fight? Do you remember? I don't remember the guy. I think it was like... Uh, Forgot the name right now. Do you, was he just a striker? Or? He was just a striker, kung, kung fu guy. Came, came. Forty seconds fight, passed out. Yeah. 
And how many fights have you had over your career? Around like, around like eight fights or so. Eight fights. Yeah. Do you, did you enjoy fighting in front of crowd? I do, I do enjoy fighting, yes. You enjoy fighting for the family? Huh? For the family? Fresh for the family, yes. No, we're always fighting for the family. There's a, like, I'm walking on the street and I'm fighting for my family. I, that's it's always the family is always in my head. There's no doubt about that. Do, sorry. Do you think a team that doesn't have the same last name can become a family like that? That where you where they become you almost like your family with the brothers without screwing each other over. Where it's just that you know what I mean? It's the what you feel. Why, why not for the Gracie? Why not? That's what I uh, yeah. It's, you know, let's yeah. uh, see. It's just you gotta believe. You know, like uh, I think my, my grandfather when he when he when he started doing those kind of those things, he expected those kinds. Of things. We create an army. My grandfather has 21 kids. Mm. You know, he didn't even wait for like uh, somebody else to do it. You know, we we believe it. You know, and like 21 kids is a lot of kids. Yeah. And in that way, like that's yeah. the only way we can do it. If you have two kids, one kid, how can you do this? No, he he thought about an army. You know, right. he and he actually did it. You know. Uh, and same thing with Edu, like a bunch of kids, you know, all growing up together. Like, just look in the house, we got 30 kids. It, it almost seems like the table was set for you guys to be fighters. Because I can imagine, I'm picturing in my head, growing up in a household with so many siblings and family members of all kinds. Dinner is ready, time to eat, and everyone fighting over the food, you know, over the... No, actually, it was, no, it was, no, it was never was fight, no. no. It was always the, only, actually the, the opposite, always respect. You know? oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it was like the. Uh, sure, but but like the resources, like for instance, I had a brother. Man, mm -hmm. we fought. We no. fought about so much. Yeah, like, like we we did fight for a lot. A right. Lot of stuff. Yeah, right. but like but on, on, on the food, those guys are all we respect. We, sure. See, like even nowadays, we're very loving towards towards each other. We're very loving towards Hanzo, towards Hyan, towards my my sister Flavia. We are very caring. Like, it's not like a way like, like oh we, no no no. You know we love you too, Rose. Rose, Rose, come here, come here, come here, Rose. No, you know people like think, oh, they 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 savage. No, no, no. We, we we are courageous. Mm -hmm. We believe in what we do. When, when did you meet Rose? Rose, she was. When did I meet? Yeah. yeah. No, when she was a meet? pain in the butt. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, I, I, <laughs> so we were very Thank little. Thank you, <laughs> Rose, Rose Gracie, everyone. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm at home already. What? I feel so, like I'm at home. So, so wait, Rose, Rose, give, give us a good, give us a good story about growing up with Half. Oh, he was a sweetheart. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> okay, we turned off the mics. Now tell us. <laughs> no, tell so us the truth. <laughs> so kind, always so respected. He never ran after me. He never tried to like do anything against never. me. Never. Just protected me my whole life. And what were Tuesdays like? <laughs> <laughs> No, Jose was like, she talks so much. <laughs> she cannot stop talking. But when the, you don't say. You know, like, she was like, imagine she's little with that little voice, like, like cracking, but like, man. Wow, I feel so I remember, like, I was coming right to, now. like, I was about Guys, like, 15 years old. Guys, this is like, everyone. I'm 15 years old, like. coming to, uh, I was staying, like, Jorge's uh, house. Because uh, uh, Jorge was living here, like, a long time. You know, my cousin, I want to see them. I came, we went to Hawaii. And on the way back, I stopped in, in L.A. and I, I, I tried to stay with the family. You know, hey, like, let's this family would stay over here. And Rose, Rose was there. Rose. Rose. Rosa. Rosa. Yeah. My name is actually Rosie because Rosie. everybody just loves to make that joke. Is it H O S D? I'm like, oh, really? But yeah. And she talks so much, man. Uh, who do you see bringing jujitsu to the forefront? in MMA today? Because before it was Noguera, it was the Gracies, it was you know, uh, carrying the, the flag. Who's carrying the flag the best? Like, uh, with Hyrum coming up pretty yeah. soon, you know, like, uh, he's doing the, the, the jiu-jitsu, of Why course, you still. You know, like, uh, but I think, like, uh, I would say, like, my my dad said, he has, I think he has blood in his eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, he got a courageous kid, you know, and uh, I, I believe he, he might. Yeah. You know. Plus, he's he's a, all around. He's a champion. He's a, a the kid is a champion in life. He's the sweetest kid, the kindest kid, the most well educated, the funniest. The, just the kid is like he's he's definitely yeah. special. He's That's definitely true. something that I agree with you. He's not like all, everybody's baby. <laughs> right? That's awesome to hear. Yeah. yeah so uh, so Half, what what is uh what do you what do you have planned for your future? 
Like, what, what do you see? Are there any big projects that you're involved in, or the growth of the art? What, what? Definitely, de definitely, no help with jiu jitsu. You know, I'm, 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 my, my goal is to to make my business get better, my the affiliates get better, but, uh, better like like you're saying, better business. Mm -hmm. Try to work in it out. Mm -hmm. But I, I might be looking to fight again. You know, maybe sooner or later. Really? You have an organization in mind? Uh, I, I was going to fight the one, but uh, the, 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 the fight is broken. Yeah. But we might be talking still. Oh, very good. Yeah. The, actually, what the idea was me and Hanzo fighting the same card. That would be amazing. Yeah. That would be nice, yeah. Yeah, I heard about Hanzo coming back. Um, but I didn't know that it, that included, uh, um, you know, health as well. Yeah, the, 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 over we in went, Singapore. So. Yeah, it was in, we went to Singapore mm. to talk to the. Actually, it was not a, a Singapore. We went to Manila. Is At the time, we went to Hanzo's fight in Manila. Then we went to Tokyo to the press conference. And on the press conference, they announced I was going to fight it. Then, but the, the fight didn't happen. Hopefully, Bruce, like. Was it somebody that we knew? Huh? Maybe was it was it a, no, an the opponent? Idea was like, uh, maybe fight Gomi, have like a rematch with Gomi. Yeah. That was a. Uh, yeah. That was the idea. Yes. Which, which brings me to what, what do you think was, what would you say was your most challenging fight? The one he has with me every time. Every time? <laughs> Guaranteed. I always lose it for her. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. When we sit down, we argue, we go at it. <laughs> no, the, 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 every single fight is a challenge, you know? Like, I don't, I don't see all which one is the best fight, but they all of us are a challenge. I have one fight that I was like really, really tired, you know? Then, but all the fights for me is a challenge, you know. I, I don't take like a, for uh, like people say, oh, it's going to be easy. No, no, no. Every single opponent, you know, it doesn't matter how how well did he did or how how did he did it. I see him as a someone's coming after me. Can you tell us about holes? We you know we don't we never heard any stories. We would always hear stories that holes was like the best in the family. Could you kind of talk about holes and what he meant to the family? Yeah, like uh, when, when when he passed away, I was kind of young. I was around like maybe like nine or ten years old. If I don't remember, if I remember, uh, super nice guy, you know. Like, uh, and one thing that he has was uh, that we really like it was the was the be, being able to bring everybody together, you know. Yeah. If he has a problem in the family or has anything like this, he was the first one to step in and make sure that that didn't happen, you know. Why are people always asking this question about who's the best in the family? No, they didn't ask who was the best no, in the family. Wasn't what was the question? Is how, how is it like being how is the best? That he was the best, isn't that what you asked? No, no, no. I, I said I've always heard that. Yeah. I don't, did people say like who's the best and this and that? I think this oh, is It's on the always. internet. Of course, the internet is filled with thoughts, you know, and sometimes yeah. they're not always the right I, ones, but I, I don't, who, who knows? I, th I think that the family alone is legendary like you cannot have jujitsu without gracie yeah. and so you guys the blood that's running through you whatever was taught in that house has been passed on to carlson to laborio to me and i'm i'm lucky this is i'm lucky that i found something in my life that i i, I think of myself as a violent person but peaceful like like i don't want to punch somebody for no reason but i want that that expression. There's something inside me that breathes, and jujitsu gave me the outlet. It gave it to me, and without it, I don't know what I would do. I don't know where my life would be. It 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 changed my life from being going down a really bad path to finding something that I want to go to the gym every day for, and and now my brain just thinks jujitsu. It thinks, and it's because the Gracie name and give you peace. Yeah. No, I, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about that. So there's like what, whatever anybody says about who is the best, who is this. If we do jujitsu, the Gracies were involved, and it's and if you say you love it, there's no way that you can't be thankful for what took place. In my opinion, on it is that I, I just don't ever see who's the best in whatever because every single one of them is part of that puzzle. Yeah. Everyone that stepped on the cage and did whatever it is for the family is part of this puzzle. So I always think it's kind of unfair to say, well, is it a flower better than the tree? Or is it, mm -hmm. it's just, they're just all different in their own right. Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I never understand that, you know, was he the best because he did a little bit of wrestling or is it the best because he did, you know what I mean? There's no such a thing as the best because it's a com combination if every single one contribute to to what it is that we have today. Well, let me clarify my question. Okay, then. please. I, I, I guess I just kind of wanted to hear. He wants to hear about holes. Him, yeah, him tell me about holes. I just no. want to know. No, Hollis no, is such a nice guy. <clears throat> and uh, very courageous guy too. Like, and, uh, and what's the guy like this? If it's something they was afraid to do it, 
he would do it. Like uh, he, he was afraid of, like jumping from heights, and he would like jump in the pool like 20 times until like from like <laughs> very high until like you could get. We have a lot of those in the family. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. So, so since you know this is kind of a unique podcast that we we have two Gracies on at the hmm. same time. That's so true story. Get, get, getting <laughs> off of jujitsu for a second. What do some of the Gracies like to do outside of jujitsu? Because we're, we're talking about Hoss. We like to party. Yeah, yeah. Describe yeah. the party life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we cannot describe <laughs> the party. Yeah, without <laughs> going into illicit details. <laughs> and copious amounts of sleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we'll, we'll go with both of you. So, Rose, you, you lead it off. What, what are some things you, you like doing outside? I just sing for you what I like to do. I'm kidding. <laughs> outside of the party I life. Because I, like I know you're very passionate about a project. Project. Yes, so, about so, the brain. Yeah, I'm very let, pa- passionate Let's, let's about go the project. entertainment for fun and then like a new purpose to expand, you know, beyond jujitsu. Yes. Well, you always got to have a purpose. If you don't have a pur- to me, if I don't have a purpose in my life to do something, then then it just makes no sense at all. But um, for fun, I like hanging out with my kids a lot. That's like probably my favorite thing to do. And we have fun like as a family. We go out, we hang out, we just do whatever. You know, Half is so kind to me all the time. What a gentle. He's a, he has a, the, he's as subtle as a hippopotamus. <laughs> like, just comes in and rah, I'm like, oh, God, did I just hear that? <laughs> subtle as a hippopotamus. As subtle as a hippopotamus. Who's the best cook in the Gracie oh, family? Sure. Yeah, okay. You're the best. <laughs> yeah, right. VV's going to test you. My girlfriend is in there. Half is the best cook because she made us some eggs. Oh, serious? Eggs. Serious? I do. I do. No, oh, you throw down in the kitchen? Cook. Yeah. Oh. I'm not joking around. Like, since I was like nine years old, I used to cook. I only know somebody's a good yeah. cook in the Gracie family, if, however they make the tapioca. The tapioca is the secret of the Gracie family. If you make a good tapioca, then I'm like, respect. But so, so yeah, so you do like to cook. This is a family trait, yeah, except like, for Rose. I like to cook. No, I love to cook. What the heck is the matter no, with I'm, just, I'm a great cook. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Yeah, I know. Ha- have you guys ever gotten the whole family together? Bro, that would be a war. It would be a war? It wouldn't be a war, <laughs> but like, when we hang, like... We have a good time. When we, go to, when we go to his mom's house, always there's that's always true, the cousins, true. and the, it's like I go back. I'm like every time I walk in there, I'm 17 years old again. <laughs> Literally, it's a door. The, you walk in. This you're is like this is in Brazil. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, so sp- we hang out right now, and we still walk in. I'm 17 back. Again. Talking <laughs> about business, you want to look into your affiliations. You want to look into growing your 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 part of of what you've given, and of course what what uh, Rose has done for the. It's when you were in Brazil. Was there, was there a business there? Did you guys see yourselves coming to America and this was going to be something that... that I teach since I was 16 years old. Mm-hmm. You know, I always work. You know, yeah. like, uh, My first gym, I was like a purple belt and uh, I, o- I opened my own gym. Uh-huh. You know, and then... Uh, and I, I knew what I was going to do. One time, my, my brother was asking, what, when we were young and I didn't know Jiu-Jitsu as much, hey, if my mom die and my dad die, what you going to do? I said, I don't know. I'm going to do Jiu-Jitsu, but you don't know Jiu-Jitsu. But, 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 but it was something that I knew, you know, that's something that we knew we were going to do since we were little. Mm-hmm. It was not, not that it was pushed to us, but that was it. We liked so much to say, hey, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Right. Mm-hmm. And you have it for life now. It's for much, for yeah. Li- yeah, plus in our family, whatever you decide to do in your life, you can still work with the family. Yeah. If you want to be a lawyer, you can be a lawyer in the family. Was, yeah. there, <laughs> is, was there any of the brothers or any of the males who didn't do jiu-jitsu? Yeah, some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I know, I know. A lot of the women didn't do it, right? Yes. And the only, the only thing that I know is Kira was the, like the first one. Yeah, is that yeah. true? For sure. Yes. For sure. Wow. The first black belt uh, from the family is Kira. She yeah. kind of disappeared. She was like on all everything, right? And what's she doing now? What well, disappeared? She's well, everywhere in Brazil, though. Well, okay. For yeah. for 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 no, myself, she, she, she in Brazil. She was first. She worked in uh, combat TV. Mm-hmm. The kind of the combat channel in Brazil, you know, they, they do the, uh, she was a commentator for the UFC. She has her own school yeah. now. It's a yeah. beautiful school in Brazil. Oh yeah. my god! A jiu-jitsu yeah. school? Yeah, she has like a school, school? Like, a, like a self-defense, I what, believe, more, guided more towards what, uh, self-defense. What beautiful school in Rio. Rio, Rio nice. Yeah. Really Gracie nice Cor. school, Gracie yeah. Corps. Can I ask you this question? <laughs> well, I'm going to ask it anyways. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> <it>. <laughs> How important do you think that I'm going to say sports jiu-jitsu that these people are not teaching? The self-defense aspect of jiu-jitsu. See, like, it's super important to teach self-defense. It's the it's stupidest the, thing not to. 
Hoff is going to literally kick me out of this interview. Yeah. See, like, you, you have to give the secu real security for your, your students, you know? And the real security doesn't come from, like, just training the ground and uh, learning how to do an arm bar. Like, uh, or betting bolo. And beating bolo. That's not it. You have to learn for, like, uh, what about the guy that's going to maybe come and spend, like, only a year? Does he, he going to know anything? Does uh, if he get in a fight, he will be able to at least protect himself for at least 30 seconds. That's the most of the time the fight goes. Can he do that? And that's the, the question a lot of teachers they wanna they, they should ask themselves. They cannot. You know, and, right. and I see like uh, some guys like really good jujitsu like sucking fighting, horrible fight. So Half, something I'm running into a problem at my academy is when I teach women self defense and I try to do it for free oftentimes and then I find that they don't come back so I charge very very small amount so they at least give me something so they feel like they have to keep coming for women like and maybe you could speak to the fact is that it's not fair that they have to train because that, that because there's predators or there's people that that mean to do them harm I mean men should train too to self-defend but everyone should be yeah. trained no, no women. how do you but how do you convey to somebody without being like listen this is not you're not getting enough training this is not enough to save your life this is not enough to, to prevent some a sexual assault or something like that like I, I have six days with a, like six weeks one one week one day a week and that's it and I don't see them again and it's and it scares me because I don't want to ever teach a woman something and then they're assaulted afterwards because I'm like it scares me you know it's that kind of fear that I'm giving something but I'm trying to be as honest as I can about it you know, it's, it's, it's hard to convince people sometimes, you know, and they have to be willing to, 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 to take what the information that you're going to give it. They have to know? want to do yes. it. And, you know, like right here in the United States, we are more safe than, than the, most, the, the other countries, you know, because in Brazil, like uh, a lot of them, and it start happening here too, you know, and, but the, the women need to get in power, you know, they need, they have to feel, hey, I, I, I can do it. If you don't trust in yourself, how are you gonna, you know, like, if you don't believe you can do it, you're not gonna do it. But with, with that too, like it's also, when you're running the school, you're doing the seminar, but are you following up and doing, and do you have like a curriculum set for them ahead that you say, okay, this is class one, you need to learn all these things? Yeah, to, the, to a degree, I, I, I become afraid that I'm, that, that they're not gonna come back, that I've only shown standing, or I've only shown the basics. So I, I show, I always end my six week course with a t-shirt choke, mm -hmm. because I just hope that that's the last, the one thing that they can, that, that if they know the technical stand up, they know how to break a grip, they know how to deal with somebody choking them on the, on the mm -hmm. neck, but it's not enough. If I, I gave away my DVD, my instructionals for free on that, you know, Kira has a great program. You know, uh, she put it together like a. Do you have like a, a women's teaching program? I do not. No, so that's a, yeah, it's that's a huge. A, that's a huge difference. Yeah. Um, because you can't. It's like you can't. But I can't go and talk about it's, shaving it's, cream. It, but it's you different. But I mean? it's different. But a lot of guys they, they should be teaching the, the, the girls. They, you know, like no, they the, shouldn't. Why? <laughs> not? For the women's self defense. Yes. Why not? I like because I'm a woman. No, because you like, like to learn, learn from, from a, a woman. woman. But there's no woman around you. You're going to learn from a man. That's not true. You There's a lot of women that's not around. There's a lot of women that's not black. black I prefer teaching. to learn from a woman. I would yeah. feel like weird that a guy is teaching me how to get out of a position that a woman should be in right. using his force when I'm like, dip. I prefer right. to learn So from essentially, a woman. it's personal preference then. Yes. Or maybe Comfort. maybe a team. You know, you have a female Because I, I, I do teach in the Kira's Academy, and a lot of women train with me. No, for you know, sure. And There's women that don't have an issue with that at all. No. I personally, personal as a woman, preference. I think I can say that as a woman, in my view, is that I prefer to learn. If he's having a problem, you got to look at the situation that he's going in, not everybody else. So in his school, if he doesn't have a program, like a follow-up on the program, right. and you don't have a woman teaching jiu-jitsu, those are kind of two variables that you may want to look into. I'm not yeah, saying that's like going to be the solution for the problem, but I'm just saying, hey, there could potentially be something like that. I, I have all. so many good good women that I could put in the places, but they don't want, they're like, no, no, no. I don't, I don't want it. They just want to train. And so it's like, becomes to a fact to where I but, feel like I that, know it the but best. But that's the conversation yeah. you need to approach with them is a social responsibility to per, with other women. Mm -hmm. What? Do you follow me? Yes. Social responsibility mm -hmm. towards other women. Like, guys, we're going to do this together just to help other women. I would and love I to talk to you. I'd love to talk about Kira's 
a Kiddush program, program, you know, and, and that's, that's she's like one year old academy. Mm-hmm. She have over 300 students. Wow. Wow. And uh, the ticket, the the price of the ticket, what you normally in Brazil is like 250 reais to 300. She's charging like 600 to 500 to 600 reais, wow. which is like a super high ticket, and full of women, full of adults, full of uh, males. They all combine, but you see that she start with the she started with the that concept already. So whoever came to her came to think about oh, that's what I want. The self defense, to learn the real jujitsu, all the aspects of jujitsu, the sport jujitsu. In there, you have everything together, and she valued this. And then when you when you show when you have the confidence to teach. You have the confidence to to show what and is right what you're doing. There's no other way. Yeah. You know, she Very had a well full said. academy, 300 students, in just one year old. Academy. Once you love what you do, you never work again in your life. Mm. Let's go. Thank you so much for, thank for you, coming thank in you, too. Thank you. Thank you.